Eternal Squad, yeah, I'd like to appreciate y'all for watching this video. I'd like to appreciate my ancestors, Almighty God, my spirit team, my angels that are here with me, protecting me as I made this Bible video for the masses of people, man. Uh, of course, we just chilling, you know what I'm saying? We just chilling downstairs. We just vibing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, listen to God, listening to my higher self. Uh, at this point in time, in my life personally, God is telling me to be still. God is telling me to embrace myself, embrace uh, every part of myself, and just accept the wrongs that I've done in this lifetime, in previous lifetimes, etc. Because uh, it's a forever healing process, and I truly understand that uh, I'm not going to heal these things overnight. You know what I'm saying? It takes time. It takes a little, a little bit of just... Patience, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't believe in time. I feel like uh, things just happen, you know what I'm saying? It happens for a reason. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's how you got to really embrace the power you hold within. Like, man, it just happened, you know what I'm saying? The reason I'm powerful, the reason I'm smart, the reason I'm intelligent, because it just happens. <laughs> I'm saying God just uh, ripped the script very well, you know what I'm saying? So... I'm truly blessed and I'm truly thankful for the, all the challenges and experiences I had to go through to get to this point to even express my truth. Uh, I'm hearing like a lot of people doing shadow work right now. Like a lot of spirits and souls doing shadow work, they're reflecting. And that's what I'm currently doing. Like I'm just doing shadow work, reflecting and finding ways to express what needs to be Said, you know what I'm saying, because how I heal is probably different from the way you heal. I heal off of being creative. When I be creative, that's how I heal. Like when I take, I don't know what I was really saying, but when I just do certain things, I just heal myself. When I read a book, I heal myself. When I work out, I heal myself. When I just listen to someone speak, I heal myself. It's so many ways I heal myself. And I feel like it's just amazing how I'm just able to do that. Us as gods. You feel me? Because if you are a human being, you are God. This is a God experience. A God experience of creation. And the best thing that ever happened to me in my life was actually using my voice. And coming to a realization my inner voice has a voice. Sometimes we could be so so conscious of who we think we are but who we think we are is not who we actually are <laughs> you know what I'm saying we be living under a false identity and when you begin to do the research on your history and your background how you came up and how it all started what got you to this point it opens it opened your mind up to a whole new world of just existing and yeah, <laughs> it's like some people not going to get it at all. Whatever you saying, whatever you talking about, some people not going to get it at all. But the right people, they going to understand that shit like on a spiritual divine level. Like this is divine. Like whoever run across my channel is divine. This is literally a spiritual awakening journey. And you got to be expressive when it comes to your individuality. For my people that make music, you got to literally be creative. You can't be saying everything everybody else is saying. You got to add some shit in that motherfucking song that will have a motherfucking thing on a subconscious level. 
Everything I'm doing, everything I'm doing in my life in this present moment, I'm doing it on a subconscious level. So when I look back at it, it's like, okay, I knew I was doing the whole time. Like, it it don't surprise me that I got to this point where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? It don't surprise me because everything I was doing, I was doing it subconsciously. It was naturally just flowing. You know what I'm saying? You got to naturally just flow. You know what I'm saying? God is literally telling you to naturally just flow. Just be still. We always feel like we got to be doing something, but you reading the book is being productive. And when your freedom gets taken away from you, you start to understand, like, the smallest things is being productive. You just meditating. That's being productive. You just blocking out the noise and tuning into your unconditional love. You know what I'm saying that's productive. It benefit you and increase your awareness to a whole nother level and majority of people on this planet they are not conscious and self-aware of their inner voice so you have to take the time out your day and really listen to that inner voice because your inner voice going to tell you some real deep ass shit you know what I'm saying? The universe is going to give you hints. The universe is going to give you signs. God wants you to know the real. God don't want you to uh, feel confused. God don't want you to feel conflicted. God don't want you to be that way. God wants you to accept the darkness and move on to the light. You know what I'm saying? Like, God really wants you to accept the darkness. And I truly... Believe in my soul, my heart, God taught me a lesson in this lifetime to accept the darkness instead of being stuck in the light. Because some people can be stuck in the light and some people can be stuck stuck in the dark. And you have to work your way out the dark and you have to work your way out the light and come into the middle and just accept everything about you. Accept the depths to your soul and... That's you putting your ego to the side and understanding I'm not my ego. You know what I'm saying? My ego is that that nagging voice. You know what I'm saying your ego going to tell you, hey, eat this. But your soul going to tell you, don't eat that. That's just your ego trying to control your reality. That's the devil. That's the devil in us. I will... Lower self, you know what I'm saying? Our lower self be trying to control our reality when we try to change. Every time we try to change, our lower self always try to maneuver its way back into our mind. So you got to understand the difference between your lower self and your higher self. I'm saying the lower self is that version of you that's living on a low vibration, that's living on a demonic vibration because either way you put it, Energy is everything you see and everything holds some type of vibration and whatever vibration you are vibrating on, it affects you mentally. It, it really affects you subconsciously because now you fear what's real and you trust what's fake. And that's very, very dangerous when you begin to fear what's real and you trust what's fake. You begin to go through this repeated cycle of just karma and karma is real. You have to accept your karma and be like, God, like, I'm going to overcome this. I'm saying I want to clear my karmic debt, God. Like, I really want to do it right this time, God. I don't want to keep going through the same thing because it always leads me to a corner of me feeling uh, sorry for the wrongs I did to innocent people, it always bring me to this self-sabotaging moment of sorrow. And I'm tired of feeling sorry for myself. I want to accept my uh, responsibilities and receive the karma for my actions, if it's good or if it's bad. Like, either way, I'm going to eventually grow into my higher self. Our whole purpose and goal on this planet is to grow into our higher self. We are not humans. We are spiritually spiritual beings that 
went through a lot and suffered a lot and see the lot and it can replay in your mind over and over again until you do something about it. You got to do something about You, know you got to do something about it. Whatever you're going through, whatever you suffer from, you got to do something about it because these labels are just labels. They don't exist in the universe. It don't exist at all. Depression don't exist. Anxiety don't exist. But you can use these terms and words to uh, enlighten someone to wake up. I'm saying if I'm making a song, I'm a sing, rap. Use my voice to hit that spot in you that will have you question where are you actually living. You feel me? But God is telling me to just be still, take it day by day. Like God is literally doing something amazing in my life. And I know God is doing something amazing in someone's life as I speak. Ain't no way God is just doing this. In my life, nah, God is definitely doing this to my reflections. God is definitely uh, let my re reflections know what it is and what's ahead because God wants you to be prepared. God wants you to stay ready so you don't got to get ready. And in this moment, I'm just uh, balancing out my thoughts, balancing out my feelings, my emotions. Like, I'm just balancing things out and taking a, a better approach to it. You feel me? Because my outlook on how I create is something very powerful. If I just shift my focus on just creating random things, it will eventually lead to something that's very, very abundant in many ways that I can't really grasper on a God uh, level, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we are quote-unquote human beings, a.k.a. gods, but we will never really know what it feel like to fulfill that abundant feeling all at once because it's so overwhelming that it will uh, like literally force you to run away somewhere, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But twelve minutes. You just gotta focus on yourself and separate. All that other shit, bullshit. That shit really played out. <laughs> that shit really played out. It be so many actors around us. Not many people are going to accept they are chosen. Many people will say they are chosen, but they are not willing to do the work to become chosen. You better believe in yourself. You really better believe in yourself. It's some things we mentally don't be prepared for. But when you have a little bit of faith in God, that's the only thing you need to overcome that situation. Just a little bit of faith, a little bit of patience, just a little bit of just relaxing. You just got to relax. God just wants you to relax. God just want to see what you're going to do. God is watching you. I'm saying God is watching you. I don't believe God is a man in the sky. God is something we cannot comprehend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God is something we can't comprehend. You know what I'm saying? God is not just one. Nah. But I feel like what makes God one is the fact that she, he is everything. He, she is inside of everything. He, she is conscious. He, she is flowing through you. God is literally flowing through you. And that's so crazy. God is speaking through you. 
<laughs> and I've been learning that, y'all. <laughs> I'm learning that I'm not I'm not I'm not actually AC lucky, you know what I'm saying? Like and that and that and that sometimes it, it throws me off in a way because when you was told your parents were your parents, you feel like your parents is your parents, so you automatically a build a uh, attachment to your parents. You automatically have an attraction to your parents. But come to find out, your parents are not your parents. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come to find out, damn, I'm not actually him. I'm not I'm not actually AC Lucky. You know what I'm saying? So when I see people when I see people copying AC Lucky, they they just mimicking my soul. They they mimicking me. They they mocking me. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 like spirits, these spirits, these jealous envious spirits, these trickster spirits will mock your soul and it will cause you to like literally feel like you are just thinking too much. You know what I'm saying? It will cause you to feel like you are just overreacting, but come to find out you are <laughs> just embracing what's been done and what's been said. You are just beating the enemy, the devil, at his own game. Like, you cannot allow the devil to control the way you feel. You cannot allow the devil to control the way you react to things. So, I've been like, okay, I'm attached from these things. I'm attached from my parents. I'm attached from this this identity of who I think I am. And just be quiet and find a quiet space I could just... Saying get that oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Get that oh shit moment. Like me just sitting in the motherfucking dark and just look at something disappear. Cause nothing is really here. I'm not actually here. I'm just in the realm of existing. Uh-huh. This realm is about me. This realm is about the chosen one. And it's so of an illusion that we Catch out with self, like, mm, you know what I'm saying? We catch out with self, like, mm, like, we catch out with self on some shit, like, man, I will literally get all you bitches going in this rap. But it's just the warrior spirit in us, man. It's just the, the fire of passion we have for the things we love and stand up for. I stand up for myself. I stand up for the character AC Lucky. So I'd be damned if I sit back and be quiet and let them live my lifestyle. You feel me? It's like people will constantly steal from you. They will constantly steal from you. Even when you catch them red handed, they will constantly steal you, constantly lie to you. One thing about uh, a genuine apology. They get straight to the point. They look you straight in your eyes. And it's it's no it's no more than a paragraph. You know what I'm saying? I did this. I didn't know it was going to make you feel that way. I apologize. And I just hope you forgive me. If you don't forgive me, I still wish the best for you. I'm still supporting you. I'm still here for you. And I, I, I understand why you don't forgive me. Or I understand why you uh move the way, move the way you are moving. I understand why. You know what I'm saying? I understand why, so I don't feel any type of way. I apologize. I'm saying like shit like that, but when a person constantly going in a motherfucking loop, that's not a real apology. When they when they avoiding the real shit, when they avoiding why they was acting that way, when they avoid like that's a true manipulator, and they uh they feel a burst. I was saying one thing about a true manipulator, they don't admit to their wrongs. They don't, they don't admit. You know what I'm saying they don't admit at all. They constantly lie. Their whole entire life, they was programmed to lie. They was programmed to steal. They was programmed to kill. And this coming from experience. I'm not just saying like. 
these people are bad people. Nah, they are programmed synthetic robots. I'm saying they stuck in the matrix. They was programmed to lie, so they don't know how to be truthful. They don't know how to handle rejection. They don't know how to actually just be who they are because who they are is uncomfortableness. I'm saying like people do not like being uncomfortable. It it just it'd be the simple shit. You know what I'm saying, and when they see you being uncomfortable, when they see you thriving in your truth and living for you, they feel like uh you just shitting on them or you just stunting on them. But deep down inside your soul, you know you're not stunting on them. You you know you can be piling your shit even more. Like you know that like. It's like some things the chosen one just know. Like I can, I can actually really, really be part of my shit even more. But uh, I respect myself on a on the on the type of tips. Like okay, when I'm around these people, I'm gonna shine my light. But I'm not gonna be arrogant to the point they feel like they need to hurt me. You know what I'm saying because when you too arrogant. <laughs> motherfuckers will literally smoke you then and there. Motherfuckers will feel like you trying to uh, hurt them in a way. You know what I'm saying? Because words are sharp. Actions are powerful. So definitely, yeah. I just be thinking. I be thinking about so much, so, so much. But I always find a, a space to just relax. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I always do, no matter what I'm going through, like, I, I I thrive under pressure. Like I love being attacked. You know what I'm saying? I love being attacked because I like to see the looks on their face when they see me get back up. I like to see the look on their face when they see me pick up my knife. I like to see the look on their face when they see me pick up my gun. You know what I'm saying I like to see the look on their face. You know what I'm saying I like to really see the look on their face. Like <laughs> I'm gonna run into every enemy in this past life. I have ran into every enemy in this past life, but it's more enemies that I haven't met. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to see these people. You know what I'm saying? I just can't wait to see them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like real chosen ones know this shit. Like I just can't wait to see my enemies and it's and it, and I got respect for my enemies. You know what I'm saying? One thing about me, I respect my enemies. You know what I'm saying? I, I treat my enemies like my friends. I treat my enemies like my family. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's that's what the chosen one do. We ready you in. You know what I'm saying? We ready you in just to figure you out because we know we can figure you out. You know what I'm saying? We already figured you out. So it's like when you close with me, no, I I I, I say so over you now. You know what I'm saying? No, I I can make you do this, do this. I can make you sniff coke. I can make you jump off a bridge, nigga. I can I can make you do anything. <laughs> you you my little pet, literally. You the yes man. So if I need something, if I need you to do something, you gonna do it. You're going to do it. If you're not going to do it, you're, you're going to do it. Because my words are that powerful. My my my, my ash is that powerful. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't really be tripping out when it comes to uh having enemies. My enemies, my best friends, man. Like, they literally my best friend. They do whatever I tell them to do. Literally. Literally. If I need something done, they do it. You know what I'm saying? They like little ass <laughs> raccoons in the trash can. <laughs> literally but and one thing i love about the chosen one the chosen one doesn't do things out of evil intentions we do things out of pure light like we operate in our light and one thing i admire about the chosen one is the fact they don't hide their darkness man like I feel like I ran across a lot of chosen ones that didn't hide their darkness this year. Like, I love that shit. Like, I love just talking about certain deep, you know what I'm saying, topics, certain deep conversations. I love that shit. You know what I'm saying? How you know that? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Maybe we look at people like, you know what I'm saying? How you know that shit? You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it just, like, it, it, it get me to a, a place of, like, understanding why I'm so calm. You feel me? I'm like, how you know that? You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how you know that? Like, I, I love that shit, you know what I'm saying? Especially if she a goddess or a, 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 a queen, you know what I'm saying? Especially if she my reflection. Like, if she a, a a female version of me, especially, that shit a turn on, man. Like, oh, God. Like, that shit literally a turn on, bro. Like, if you know, you know, bro. If you know, you know. Like, I don't like people faking like they innocent because we not innocent, <laughs> 
know what I'm saying? We not innocent, man. Like, we not innocent at all, bro. Like, we not innocent at all. So, like, you got to understand, like, how long it took to get in your position and not letting the enemy fool you into heading your reality to them without putting up a fight. We constantly put up a fight. Constantly. They can't control our reality. They cannot at all. You know what I'm saying we have the most high guiding us. The most high chose us. The most high literally came to hell and brought us up. The most high took us from hell. The most when the most high heard us repenting for so so long. I'm saying so, so long. And I just say, I appreciate Almighty God, my ancestors, my spirit team, my angelic being. Right here, we protect me. I mean, it's probably beautiful, massive people, man. <laughs> you just gotta just hold on. Hold on. Silent night Over oh, the ages Night time I got so many different personalities <laughs> And I've been understanding I've been learning more and more about myself Like, like I told you I'm, I'm not AC Lucky So it's like the ancestors get a turn, like, every, everybody get a turn, everybody get a turn to speak, that's the thing about me, I make sure everybody get a turn to speak, I make sure everybody get a turn to go down the slide, I make sure everybody get a turn to ride a dirt bike, I make sure everybody get a turn to, uh, get some money, I'm saying, if I'm passing out money, I make sure everybody get some money, I'm saying, I make sure everybody get some from my ice cream truck, like, I make sure everybody straight, I'm saying, like, make sure everybody straight. That's what I love about myself. I make sure everybody good. Everything I did was out of a, a pure heart of just intentions. I didn't want anything in return. I didn't want nothing. Only thing I probably wanted in return was the same loyalty and love I had for you. But I never got that, you feel me? You never going to get that. When you give a person your ah, uh, that's when you fucked up, man. That's when you literally fucked up when you give a person your ah. Uh, that's when you really fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to give nobody all. Uh, you're supposed to pour into yourself before you can even help anyone. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to help yourself, love yourself before you are able to help love anyone else. You can't love your child if you don't have a uh, an unconditional bond with yourself. We was never loved. You know what I'm saying we never knew what love was really was. So when we uh went out to the world and try to find love, we never found it. You know what I'm saying? As the chosen one, we attracted to things that was low value, and we had to learn. Okay. Low value is low self-esteem, okay? I got to raise my awareness to my low self-esteem actions. You know what I'm saying? By just being in the moment. Me being in the moment, me observing what needs to change, what needs to be adjusted. You know what I'm saying? Because my life matters. You know what I'm saying? She don't, you know what I'm saying? She don't do it right. You know what I'm saying? She don't treat a nigga like a king. I can't fuck with her. She don't do the things I tell her to do. I, I tell her what she needs to hear. I give her what she needs, not what she wants. Like, I'm going to tell my kids that, man. Like, I give you what you need. I don't give you what you want. I give you what you need. I'm your father. I give you what you need, and what you need is unconditional love. And uncondi uh, unconditional love can be tough. <laughs> unconditional love can 
can can can appear as I'm just being hard on you. It can appear as I'm being a, a, a dickhead. You know and I'm saying it could appear like that, but your daddy speaking some real shit. Your daddy telling you what it is. You know what I'm saying your daddy telling you if you go out that motherfucker, you get bite. And when you go out that motherfucker, you get bite. Don't run back to daddy, cause daddy know. You know what I'm saying daddy knew you was gonna get bite. You know what I'm saying daddy told you you was gonna get bite. Daddy told you to wear rubber. You know what I'm saying? You get burnt out there, bitch. You know what I'm saying? God, you know what I'm saying? God, God spoke through me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the messenger. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand that about your daddy. I'm the messenger. You know what I'm saying? So your daddy got a lot of things going on. You know what I'm saying? Your daddy receiving a lot of a lot of downloads right now. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand I'm just the messenger. You know what I'm saying? And everything that I say is, might not be something you want to hear. But understand this, your daddy always gonna tell you some real shit, though. I bet that little boy won't tell you some real shit about yourself. I bet you, I bet that little boy won't tell you your shit stink. I bet that little boy won't tell you, or that little girl won't tell you your shit stink. I bet they won't because they fear you. They fear you being aware of who they are, and who they are is fake ass motherfuckers that want to stop you from shining. But. I'm downstairs in my basement. And I know I'm never going to get this moment back in my life. I know that shit. So I'm going to keep this bitch rolling on me. On me. On me. Get it together. Get it together before I whoop that ass. You know what I'm saying? Get, get it together before I whoop that ass. I've been reading this book, y'all. This shit called uh, "Read This Before She Does: The Guide, The Black Man's Guide to Understanding Black Women." And I and I I'm I don't really understand it. I'm not gonna sit here and say I understand it because I really don't because I'm just relearning everything. But I'm reading this book, yeah, and I'm like, okay. Okay, marriage is a setup. <laughs> marriage is a setup, but it's, it depends how you do it. It depends what type of man you are and the woman you are, you know what I'm saying? Especially to my black guys and goddesses, like, you got to understand, like, your partner. Like, you got to understand what you get yourself into because sometimes the partner that you with don't be the partner that is for you and meant for you, you feel me? And I'm just reading the book. I'm like, okay, I'm getting gems. You know I'm saying this gonna help me in the long run. You know what I'm saying, and I'm like, okay, it it rewired me to a whole new love of just uh me knowing. Like I know like what a actually a actual wife looks like. I know what an actual wife looks like. You know what I'm saying I know what a uh a bad wife looks like. I know what a a mature woman looks like I seen it. You know what I'm saying we see this stuff our whole entire life, but by us reading these type of books, uh, it, it gives you an idea of marriage. You know what I'm saying it gives you an idea of what you are getting yourself into, but it's not the half. You know what I'm saying it's not the half. You know what I'm saying it might says this and this and this, but your marriage could go completely great. <laughs> but it might say. Hey, hey, this look out for this, 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 and it's the totally opposite. So, uh, for my guys out there, you know what I'm saying, listen to a guy, listen to me, reflection. If you are out here dealing with multiple females, you will never be satisfied with the female that chose you. Never. For my Goddesses, women, black queens. You will never be satisfied with a man that you can control. Never. And one thing women loves. Women loves a man that takes accountable to their actions. So when you are able to, and when you are able to tell a woman like, okay.
Let's say, for example, your queen, your goddess, she come home from work. Or she just come home from, like, dealing with stuff. You know what I'm saying? Probably dealing with kids. Or she work at a school dealing with kids. Or she had a stressful day. And you forgot to clean up the house. She come home, like, why is the house dirty? Why is the kids dirty? Why did you not throw the kids in the shower? Like, just why? And by you just saying, like, baby, I had a rough day, too. Uh, I know. Don't even worry about it. I got it. You know what I'm saying? You just saying, I got it. I got it. This, that's all she need to hear because, you know what I'm saying? I watch, I watch my mother go through this shit, you know what I'm saying, I watched my mother literally go through so much shit, and I can't believe this woman is still st just standing, I'm saying, my mother is beautiful, I'm saying, I, I love my mother, but me being, uh, me being who I am, me developing into this mature young man, I have to set boundaries, I can't allow people to cross my boundaries without it being consequences. I'm saying, like, I make sure, like, my mom knows, okay, I'm a man, mom, and you got to understand I have boundaries, and I don't play these type of games where you're trying to do all these psychology and manipulate me into just bowing down to you. I don't bow down to no man, no woman, I'm saying. I don't do these things. I play smart, you know what I'm saying? So if I was to, quote-unquote, bow down to a man. I'm not actually bowing down to that man. I'm being smart. I understand that man want to take my life. So it's like, for example, I'm in prison. And how how it is in prison, they literally want to, uh, like, literally take your life. They really want to clone you and replace you. It's so spiritual. It's so deep. They really want to do these things to you. So they will uh, try you. They will do all type of things to uh, trick you off the spot. So I'm a... Had my throne on my head. I'm going to stay in my spot. So whatever that man is saying out his voice and trying to uh, take my masculinity away from me, I'm I'm going to let him speak. I'm not going to let him take my masculinity away from me. I'm not going to let him uh, just make, he feel, make him feel like he got one up on me. You know what I'm saying? Nah. I'm going to say, I'm going to let him say what he want to say. I'm, I'm going to respect him as a man, but... Real men know like it's certain men in this, it's certain men in this world. You got the man that loves their body. You got the man that love everything about themselves except their flaws. They speak about it. They talk about it. You got that. You got that man, and you got the man that hide. And I respect him from being the man who he is. He is the man that hide, and I respect him. And me showing shrimp, it can awaken him. To the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I understand everything he's saying is bullshit. He just woo woo, right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? He's not really stable with this. So, he's irritated by my light. And my light is shining so bright as I just stand tall. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely, y'all. Yeah. For my guys out there, my goddesses, both sides taking accountability and just saying, like, okay, I got it. I'm saying, I'm going to clean up the house. I'm saying, I don't worry about it. I'm going to cook the night, too. I'm going to rub your feet the night, too. Don't even worry about it. Boom, boom. Take a shower. I'm saying, do this. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. And what else it was in the book? <laughs> it was so much knowledge in that book. I'm still reading the book. I'm on, like, page 42. And the woman that complains. I mean... The woman that complains about the man she is controlling. These are the type of women that are very, very dangerous. Because they will manipulate the good woman that is obeying their black king. They will manipulate these women to do what they are doing. You know what I'm saying? Women feel like they have to have some type of power over you. But that's not the case. A real... Black queen knows 
The king is the ruler of the castle. He makes the rules. He, he, he's the foundation. You is the piece that keeps the foundation stable. You know what I'm saying? So this is my castle and and I expect to come home to a clean castle. I expect to come home to a hot meal. You know what I'm saying? I expect to come home to you looking beautiful. Not even you just having on on just sexy shit, you know what I'm saying? You just being you, you know what I'm saying? You just showing the beauty within. You know what I'm saying? And the black woman that hates that will try to manipulate the black woman to do what she do. So this black woman over there, she manipulate her black man. She manipulate her black man. She disrespects him. She just insecure. You know what I'm saying? I could talk about this shit. Like, my grandmother, bro, she's a very insecure woman. Like, she one of them old heads that try so hard to pretend to be young. She pretend to be young. She like young man. She sleep with young. I'm not saying like she got a. You know what I'm saying like and, and she got a a boyfriend. And this nigga, I don't understand why he's with her. And <laughs> it's like that's his mother. She treat that black man like her child, literally. He's literally experiencing his childhood all over again. Like, he's literally experiencing trauma. And some people are not strong enough to escape that trauma. But that that's a very good-ass book, yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's a very good book. Uh, like I said, I, I, I really don't understand it. <laughs> but I understand it. And I don't like using the word understand, but I, I'm, just getting, I'm just getting the rhythm of... Adapting that to my lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? I feel like books are very, very, very important. Very important. I knew that since a kid. Like, I really love writing books as a kid. I love writing books in high school. It's like any any teacher that knew me in high school, especially in my uh, English class, you... She knew, oh, he knew that I was a great writer, like a great writer. Like my third grade teacher, Miss Little, if she ever, ever run across my channel, she literally like sparked something within me. She like, dang, like, I'm going to show the other teachers what you just wrote. Like, like, when I write books, I like to add detail. I like to really go into depth. I like to, feel, I like to write it like you are actually watching the movie, like, Books are literally you using your imagination. It's literally you being creative. <laughs> it's literally you being creative. But yeah, guys and goddesses, choose wisely when it comes to these people. Uh huh. Me personally, what I feel like merge is, I feel like merge. That is something you should do. I believe everyone should experience being married. What it feel like to be married? What it feel like to actually be committed to one person? I believe everyone should experience that. But not everyone has the patience to even go through that process. Because some people will get married and they, it will, they will have an open relationship. They will... I'm saying, start having intercourse. They will, 
always bump heads. Of course, it's a marriage though. Like you're gonna bump heads with your with your spouse, but it's like giving your spouse space, having your own hobbies, having your own friends, own freedom. Because a lot of people in merch, they feel like they, they trapped. You know what I'm saying? They really feel like they trapped. They are literally in a mental cage. Spirituality plays a big role in, in the merch. Literally. But if you are going to the courts to get married, you sign the papers and shit, you tripping. If I was to ever get married, I'm not going to no courts. That's like signing your life away. I'm not doing that. You tripping. I'm a black guy. <laughs> you tripping. I'm at war with these motherfuckers in, in real time. I'm not going to the courts and signing papers. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's a lot of shit in the book, like how like the courts work. Like, the courts be taking the black man child away from him. And that's so crazy. Now you can't see your daughter. Now you can't see your son. Like, the courts literally failed. They would always fail the black community. The courts will never be in your favor. The courts will never give you justice. Never. You will never receive justice from the court. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was designed for you to not receive justice. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for my guys out there, Think about merch and, and think about it. Like, really think about it for years before you even get married. Think about it for years. Study it for years. It's like college. I'm saying a merch is like college for the black man. I don't know about the white man, but I feel like the white man. I don't know about you, bro. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't even think you got. Y'all don't got a soul. The white man, you don't got a soul, so <laughs> the way you view marriage is the totally opposite from the way a black man view marriage. The white man views marriage from an evil eye. And I don't like that shit. You view marriage from an evil eye. The reason you got married with your wife because you want to to benefit some type of dark, deep ass desire. You know what I'm saying you got with this wife because you felt like it was easy to manipulate her to uh have all these you know what I'm saying crazy ass in the bedroom shit. You know what I'm saying we don't, we don't do that, bro. I don't know what these white folks be thinking, but I I be I know the, I know how they think. They be thinking about some deep ass demonic shit in the bedroom and it get way deeper man like y'all come from a long background of pedophiles and i don't i don't i don't fuck with y'all i don't i like I, of course i fuck with like my high vibrational white or i should say my high vibrational beings like the high vibrational white folks but these high vibrational white folks know like these white folks are not right you know what i'm saying they are not right at all. They are not right spiritually. You got to be, let me say, up here to really understand what I'm saying. Like, you got to really be on the high vibration to understand what I'm saying about these white folks. And it's not just the white folks, too. It's not just the white folks, but this is the white, this is the white man game. The white man literally manipulate the black man to be a slave. So... When you start to break that down to yourself, okay, the white man been a slave. The 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 white man literally tortured, raped, stole, killed from the black man foundation. And we 
are here to take all that shit back. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about y'all, bro. I'm here to take all that shit back. I'm, I'm, this shit coming down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> On me. This shit coming down. I, I guarantee AC Lucky, you going to make shit shake in this world. But enough of me saying like a uh, uh, philosopher. <laughs> I'm low key a therapist. I can literally do marriage counsel counseling. Like <laughs> I can literally do marriage counseling. You know what I'm saying? I just turned twenty. This is my first day being twenty. I turned twenty yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn. When you when you get a divorce, The woman takes half of your shit. Like, the woman going to hit you with her that she'll hit your pockets. That's crazy. Me, personally, I would never. Involve. What I got going on with the court system. Fucks no. Fucks no. Fucks no. Fox, you know. And I believe y'all can find this book on YouTube. The Guide to Understanding the Black Woman. The Nature of Black Woman. <laughs> hey, hey, the black, these black guys, man, they no joke, bro. You got to know what you get yourself into, for sure. You got to know what you get yourself into. You... <laughs> you literally getting yourself into a motherfucking gorilla cage when you when you messing with these females, bro. No bullshit. Like you literally getting yourself in a, a gorilla cage. That's why a lot of men fail to be committed. <laughs> they fail to be committed because when your goddess don't want to have intercourse with you, now what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? You get tired of jacking up. Now you got to... I'm saying find a a, 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 a a low quality beat up version of your God. It's like this is a beat up version. You just downgraded just for some 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 top. You know what I'm saying like you, you gotta be. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta be one dumbass nigga to downgrade, bro. I feel like man. To be honest, I could go the rest of my life without busting a nut, bro. It just me being with honey. I could go the rest of my life without busting a nut. But that doesn't mean I could go the rest of my life without having sex, though. You know what I'm saying? I could have sex and don't bust a nut. I could have sex with my goddess and don't bust a nut. I could please my goddess without having to bust a nut. And that's skill. That takes a lot of skill. That takes a lot of skill, bro. It takes a lot of energy out of you to... I'm saying, dude, <laughs> all my real guys know that it takes a lot of skill to do that. It takes a lot of skill to please your woman without you releasing a lot of skill, a lot of skill. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot of mental strength, boy. True. I'm gonna teach my son this shit. I'm gonna teach my son this shit. I'm definitely gonna teach my daughter this shit. I'm gonna teach my daughter. Not to manipulate these men. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that to these men, bro. If you can manipulate a man, that's not the man for you. If you can play all these games with this man and fuck with his mind and get get what you want out of this man, out of this man instead of what you need, nah. I'm sorry, baby girl. Eventually, he's going to run you away. Or you going to run him away. Nine times out of ten, he going to run you away. It get like that. I love y'all. It's AC Lucky signing off. Uh, get it together, y'all. Y'all got to get that shit together. You know? Get your shit together, boy. I got hella downloads in this video. Get your shit together, boy. Stop focusing on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Stop focusing on the shit that don't matter, boy. Get your shit together, boy. If I spank your ass. And when I be ass, I be ass. Literally, I beat ass. I beat ass. You know what I'm saying I got my ass whooped a lot of times, 
And I know what a good ass whooping feel like. I got my ass whooping beat with cords, sticks, bottles, baseball bats. Got my ass whooped in the shower. You know what I'm saying? Got my, I got hung on a tree, bro. So get that shit together, boy. Get that shit together, girl. Get your shit together. Stop playing. Stop focusing on that people. Stop focusing on it. Stop, stop involving yourself around these people. They don't fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Get your mind right. Get your head in the game. Fuck you crying for. The game's not over. It just started. Your life just started. So why the fuck is you worried about tomorrow? Why the fuck is you worried about the next day? I should whoop your ass. I should whoop your ass. You know that? I should really whoop your ass, but I'm not. You know why? Because I love you. I, I love you enough not to whoop your ass. My words are so powerful that it feels like I'm whooping your ass. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing. Respect your elders. Listen to your mama. Listen to your daddy, too. Listen to your uncle, your cousin, your grandma, your sister, your brother. Listen. They trying to tell you something. You know what I'm saying? Put your ego to the side. Damn. I gotta slim my motherfucking face down. Shit. I gotta slim this bitch down. I gotta slim this bitch down, bruh. I ain't gonna... I can't... Should I... Sh uh, bro, I... That was for my ladies out there, y'all. I don't know about you niggas, bruh. I said, you my reflection. That was motivation, bruh. But get it together, bruh. I'm tired of telling you that. Get it together, bro. Get it together. Get it together. Get it together. Get it together. You got this shit. I know you do. The reason I'm telling you to get it together because you kicking the ass right now. And this shit finna get real. That's how we really talk. <laughs> That's how we, like, before it wasn't even words. So we still do that shit. <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm, uh, I'm in the video of an hour, but look. <laughs> I feel like the African culture when it comes to marriage it's something different. These men in Africa, these guys in Africa, we having like five wives and all of them get along, bro. I want to live a life like that. <laughs> so I know I come from that shit, though. But I like, I, lo I, I love how the African, African culture is. I love how our culture is because the, the goddesses in Africa, bro, I ran across a, a goddess from Nigeria, she would treat me like she like she was seducing a nigga, like she was literally seducing me, and it was kind of scary because they seduce you in a healing way. So like it it, it kind of put butterflies in your stomach because it's like she obey you, bro. Like she literally obeys you. Like she she do anything for you. You sick? She gonna check up on you every fucking. Five seconds, like they love their black man in Africa. Like, they love their black guy in Africa. They love him. They love him. They love him. They can't get enough of him. Like they, 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 they healers, man. Like they healers. They real dead healers in Africa. I'm, I'm gonna be in Nigeria one day, and I wanna just beat my tribe and go hunting. You know what I'm saying, might hunt some goats. Uh. Might hunt some goats, but I just, I just want to go back home. You know what I'm saying I want to go back home and pop up like I'm home, and they just gotta start going crazy. I know they gonna show me mad love in Ethiopia and Egypt. They gonna show me mad love, yeah. It's gonna be crazy. They gonna show me mad love. I know the fever is gonna show me mad love though, but it's awesome. You know what I'm saying? You my 
sister type shit. Like you my sister. My 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 guys, my reflection, my brothers, I know they gonna show me mad love, gang. They gonna show me mad love. My sisters gonna show me mad love. It's like damn, like what the fuck happened? Like, what, what, how they how they like they literally split us apart. They split us apart from birth. It's been, it's been so long. It's been so long. You think I'm just a nigga that talks too much? Maybe. Maybe. One thing I like to thank God for, like, God bless me. God bless me. I can, I could, I could truly say that I don't gotta. <laughs> I'm saying, like, I don't gotta. I'm saying, I don't gotta. I'm saying, you know what I'm saying you feel me? I don't. It's like I'm just blessed, like. I can't imagine what these people go through. Like, I just can't imagine you. Like, damn, that shit crazy. Like, I don't know what that feels like. I don't know what that feels like because I don't got one. You know what I'm saying? I got a, you know what I'm saying? I like to thank God the most high, the ancestors, the angelic beings, my angels, and the 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 angels